everyone it's me Tiffany and I wanted to show you I did a thing before getting into the sketchbook flip through I hope you all have a wonderfully blessed day and that you enjoy another blast from my past okay so today's flip through of an old sketchbook is from April 2013 to June of 2014 during this time I was really into drawing just uh, stylized faces. This is a decomposition book um, and it is made out of recycled product and the pages are blank and I love this book. So you can see on the other side it's just got a lot of cool stuff on it. So as I said I was really into drawing stylized faces. This one was done with watercolors. I was just messing about with mixing patches of color, I guess you could say. Sorry if you heard that, that was my dog coughing. <laughs> um, I was really inspired by Tracy Bautista, I believe is how you say her name, and how she draws her faces. So that's how it started out. And it quickly ventured into coming up with my own style of face, which you will see here in just a minute. This one I never fully colored in. This was a fun take on a Doctor Who. I tried uh, doing a female version of Doctor Who. It didn't quite turn out how I would have liked. And then this peacock girl is starting to head towards the style that I went with in this book with just the one eye. And I really like how this kind of turned out in doing the letters in the hair. So I wish I had made the hair itself more flowy rather than just that little straight uh, look. This masquerade person was inspired by Fable 3, if I remember correctly, and the way they dressed. So I wanted to make one kind of a steampunky look to it. Here's a fairy that I did and a hawk person. I used a lot of watercolors when I was doing these pictures. <laughs> My dog girl. This I got the idea from, I wanna say a, a magazine picture, but I could be wrong. Um, it might have just been an image on the internet. Tried a different type of masquerade girl. And I really love this clown girl. I wish I had redone her in the style that we get to in further back here with a bigger head, which you will see in a moment, but I really love this one. And a fawn that I made. As you can see, I'm starting to do just the one eye more than both eyes. Um, I do obviously occasionally throw in two eyes. I really like this one too. I got this idea from an image online. Really wish I'd done the horn in a different position and put it in a little differently. Really not sure what the inspiration was behind this one. And on this one, the colors got really muddy. Um, I think I tried using colored um, crayons. She's another one of my favorites. And another one where I used the crayons and it just got really messy. This paper actually held up really well to watercolor considering it's not a watercolor paper. Okay, now we're getting into the definite more stylized of what I went with. Um, I gave a bigger head. Um bigger eyes, or eye, I guess. Here's another one that I really love. This one was also inspired by Fable 3, which had a very decisive steampunk note to it. Did a few steampunks. I like this one with the yellow background, actually. A cat that really didn't turn out. Wasn't overly thrilled with that one either. 
I did this while drawing, or excuse me, I did this while camping. <laughs> Let's try that again. And my nephew told me he wanted a um, dragon on the shirt. And well, that's the best I did without a reference. <laughs> this one, if I remember right, was stylized after a Blythe doll that someone had recreated. I really love the color, how I did her hair. It was a lot of fun. Um, I think this one might have been inspired by another Blythe doll. Not sure what the inspiration behind this one was, but I don't, I never really liked how it turned out. This one was one of my favorites as well. As is this one, I love the little mini top hat. And this is the last one. I never finished it. I just, I got to the point where I wanted to try a different style um, and draw more full full pictures. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of empty paper. I don't know, I may go back in and finish up this book someday, but for now, that's where it's at. And if you're wondering, the name for this book is Brick in the Wall. Anyways. I hope that you guys enjoyed this flip through of my female heads <laughs> and that you all have a wonderfully blessed day. Bye.